I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. Covering climate now, censors, no climate emergency news. On September 23, 2019, some 500 qualified scientists and professionals from around the world issued a registered letter to the UN Secretary General explaining that there is no climate emergency. This news was launched the same week that Greta Thunberg gave her now famous How Dare You speech at the UN. The hysteria around a climate emergency was also criticized by an official with the World Meteorological Organization, the General Secretary of the WMO, Pateri Talas of Finland, said that the alarmist agenda was unjustified and he blamed the media for promoting climate hysteria. A Friends of Science video on no climate emergency has gone viral with more than 400,000 views as of October 2, 2019. Clearly the public are interested. Why aren't the media? Despite CNN claiming that some 300 media outlets have signed on to the Columbia Journalism Review's campaign entitled Covering Climate Now, there's been almost no mainstream media coverage of the story of 500 scientists and professionals disputing the climate emergency mantra so prevalent in the press. The absence of coverage has Friends of Science Society asking if the media are censoring climate now. In Canada, this raises curious questions as the mainstream media are supported by tax-funded programs like aid to publisher grants in the millions of dollars per year. More recently, the Liberal government created a media fund of some 600 million distributed to a select group of print and online media newspapers. At the outset of Canada's election campaign, environmental groups were warned that Elections Canada sees climate change as a partisan issue and therefore those presenting a paid side over a $500 fee would have to register as a third party. Despite howls of protests from ENGOs that they were being silenced, in fact, all they had to do was register. Few have done so. Any such group is still entitled to present their views via unpaid social media and by email. The fact that mainstream Canadian media have not picked up on the no climate emergency story begs the question of when do these publishers become identified as partisan? The sums of money received by media from Canadian taxpayers are non-trivial. According to Canada Land in the past, Maclean's magazine has received millions of tax dollars from the Aid to Publishers program. It's not clear what, if any, money was granted to Maclean's under the current plan. In an email campaign, True North Media states that hundreds of thousands of tax dollars are streaming to mainstream newspapers, now apparently only to tell one side of the climate story. This means tax dollars are being co-opted for a particular view, and these publications are not observing charter principles of freedom of the press. In Canada, the national broadcaster, CBC Radio Canada, is funded by taxpayers for more than $1.4 billion a year. And CBC has also been running Climate Change in Your Backyard, a series with a focus on the climate crisis. And it has not picked up the story of the 500 scientists who state there's no climate emergency. Friends of Science Society says this is a disservice to Canadians who should be informed about dissenting views on climate change, particularly in light of the distressing news that many people are now suffering from eco-anxiety over media hype on climate. If you think that your local media should be telling the story of the 500 scientists who dispute the climate change emergency, why don't you give them a call, write them a letter, why don't you badger them and tell them that you want to hear the other side of the story. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling.